Let's get back into Hush Hush. It's time for another episode of Hush Hush, everybody. We're back. Oh boy. It's day 17. And you know what that means. More Eero. Ooh. Oh yeah, you can get a, you can get an achievement for one of her deaths. So um, let's just go into this. It's finally time to continue this adventure. All right. We drive out to the beach and over to a spot that has been set aside for a motorcycle jump course. You spot Hero doing donuts in the parking lot and pull up next to her, rolling down your window. Hey, there you are! I was worried you were gonna leave me hanging. Uh, hey, Tin. <laughs> uh, what's up? Well, see, I've got a little idea, but I need some help with it. What is that? So, see, here's the thing. I have always wanted to try out motocross. You know, like jump, woo, crowd goes wild. I'm not interested in motocross, I'm in this. I'm interested more in this. But my father basically threatened to disown me if I ever did something so stupid and reckless. <sighs> Fathers are like that. Trust me, I deal with it. Anyway, they're setting these jumps up for a competition tomorrow, and I I don't want to try them out. So, you're here as witness. And ambulance caller. If things go poorly. Don't you need like a special kind of bike to do this stuff? Yes. Technically, yes. Technically, this is very dumb to try on my type of bike. There's one photo in the gallery where, which I'm not going to show because who's very lewd. But, um, yeah, her, yeah, her motorcycle is not for like motocross type stuff like those big those small jumps <laughs> but i'm not gonna go full speed and hit these jumps full tilt i just want to try and get a feel for it if i like it i can get my hands on a motorbike really quick like <laughs> lickety split so is that a yes can you witness and point a camera at me in case it's awesome please 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 we all love our thrills but you know you need the right gear for something like this <laughs> mm, yeah, you're right. I once tried free climbing without properly learning the right techniques and got stranded on a cliff. I almost fell a bunch of times and needed to get airlifted out. That's a dumb decision you regret doing. That's the kind of dumb shit I would have done because I never hiked. I just really, really wanted to try it. But you're right. I don't want to smash my pretty face. Look at this face. Can you imagine? Well, my face has already been smashed, so whatever. Let's go grab an ice cream or something. <sighs> yeah! You know, indeed, go and grab ice cream. It tells you that you've only narrowly avoided disaster. Yeah. What do you want? It's -a me, Mario. Oh yeah, the wine date. Yeah, that still traumatizes me about hearing fucking anime. Funny Bill. And last son. Not as much as it should be. Not as much as Wario. But uh, speaking of song, might be out on song for maybe Thursday, 2018. That's the next day. Served a la babon. Are you busy? It's so hard being seductive over text. <laughs> You're mine. <laughs> that sounds creepy, but whatever. My customers are Among Us. All right, what? If I regret saying Among Us. I know the memes are gonna come up on my responses now. All right, so schedule. 
That is on right now, baby. Holy shit. And that's we're gonna be doing the entire day 17. Alright. Point coffee. I already had two cups. I'm good. So I told the doctor that I wasn't sure, but usually it's not nearly so flexible. Oh yeah, by the way, don't look at this. Dimitri! Enough! We have a customer! And not a moment too soon! Hello there. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Clean Bean Coffee House. Hello. What can I get for you today? A large coffee, please. Boink. Here you are. Have a great day. Swab. I need, need more. There was something that needed to be fixed, which I don't think Sad Panda Studios has done since all the updates and when they went full on release a couple months ago, so see if they did. And let's get into Eero Chapter 3. Woo! They fixed it! They updated it. Fi they fixed this. Finally. Oh my god. Alright. Guide, lead me to Eero 3rd. Alright, at the beach. You really have to see. It's a little less busy than usual. Thank god. The, the throng of pale, sweaty tours sitting shoulder to shoulder has been mostly replaced with more eye-catching beachgoers. Grabbing Yugi, you make your way to the north end where Iro said the waves were the sickest. You spot Kaylee and Ira out in the water. It appears Iro is trying to teach Kaylee how to surf. You can barely make out their voices over the surf. Oh my god, Iro, don't let go! I have to let go at some point, Callie. You need to learn to fly, little bird! doesn't let go! I think you're enjoying this too much. I'm going to let go. Eek! No! Betrayal! Callie awkwardly tries to leap into Eero's arms and surprisingly does exactly that. Whoa! Ah! For about two seconds, then the two of them fall into the water. Surface once more, the both laughing, Aaron splashes Kelly, which seems to make them both laugh harder. Hello there! <laughs> hey! Look who it is! I am here. <laughs> I believe in you. See? What did I tell you? Listen to that. Everyone can see your potential. Oh, you two are meanies! Telling an innocent girl such falsehoods. But thanks. <laughs> I enjoy pretty little lies that make me feel good about myself. Uh, I think I missed one last time. The two women that leave the water with Callie running over to you as Hero is dragging her surfboard to, to their beach blanket. Yay! You made it! How are you doing? Any luck with Hero yet? I keep on forgetting to link the god as I was saying, I god I keep on forgetting to add the goddamn guide that is like all A plus and such. Honestly, I don't think so. Whenever I first she gets edgy, she gets all Shadow the Hedgehog edgy. Oh yeah, but I've been in the gym. I think I've caught her wearing once or twice. <laughs> oh well, I didn't want to say anything. But you're definitely looking more swollen. Or wait, the expression is swoll, right? Uh, whatever. You look amazing, and I want to jump your bones. <laughs> These are good things. I hope you always noticing this right now and being like, what the fuck are you two talking about? Okay, before we get all busy busy with visiting, I've got some hot tips to share. Take it away. <laughs> Hot tips! That's what she said. Hot tip one. Eero isn't much of a drinker, but she can't resist Rattlers. You know, like 
grapefruit beer. The only time I've seen her desecrate that beautiful temple of hers was when she discovered them. I brought some today! Oh boy. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Hot tip too! Iro has only ever dated people she was friends with first. She's definitely a feelings first sort of gal. But you might need to give it a little jump start. Okay. It might help to try and make her a little jealous. Let me know if you need help with that. I am always willing to make out with people in the name of justice. Okay. Hot tip three. Iro loves to wrestle. <laughs> if you want things to get fun and physical, challenge her honor. I win. Wrestle. And how much shape I'm in right now? Hi, I'm Daisy. In fact, the first time she and I had sex was after she pinned me to the bed and my panties slipped and... Well, I'll let you imagine the rest. Good thing. I'm... <laughs> God damn it! Grammar. Okay, got all that? Any option works. Should not have any points in the dark corner. Well, why, why not start now? Oh, damn. <laughs> You're a unique friend. <laughs> Thanks! I take that as a sincere compliment. Just remember, you're the one giving her sparkly feelings in her pants. <laughs> I'm rooting for ya. Thanks. Guys, come on! Stop whispering about how hot I am and get your butts over here. I'm lonely. Why is the loneliest number that Luigi is? I'm gonna turn around if I see Luigi. Damn it. <laughs> it's why After your own Cali dry off, the three of you decide to play a round of volleyball. Your insists on taking you and I'm taking both you and Callie on. She makes fun of your... F of my feminine hips? And... Oh, spectacular tits? Oh, nice. How dare you? <laughs> they do get in the way of spiking. It's okay. They're nice. You look nice. Thanks! Anime face number two. Now! Are we gonna do this? I can be the short selfie both. No competition. Yeah, I like how I have no competition. With people who play this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Better call bylaw because someone just shit on the beach. Well, I gotta say I'm liking the sound of getting my short speed off. <laughs> That's right up my alley. Hey, one dude versus two girls. What can go wrong? Callie, focus. We gotta make a fool of this fool. Then we gotta make fun of him. I'm already a fool, so whatever. <sighs> I get goosebumps whenever you talk rough and tumble. Exactly. All right, Callie, you're with me. Let's do this. Game on. Game on. Oh yeah, I really like this CG a lot. It's so nice. All the CGs in this game are actually pretty cool. Although the game gets off on a rocky start with several of Eero's spikes, finding various sensitive places to crash into. Ooh. After a few sets, he managed to force the ball over to Cali whenever there's an opportunity to score. Quickly, I take the lead. I guess because I am number one. Cali, move that booty, girl! You're running like you're in high heels out there! Eek! Sorry! I have only just now realized I have terrible depth perception! We got this! We can win! A few seconds later, you manage to spike the victory point straight in at Hero, which takes takes it on in the face like a champ. Ouch! <laughs> Did you lose a tooth? I mean, I suck. I do all the sucking. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. No, 
I'm pretty sure we both contributed to the unusual amount of sucking out there. Oh, Eero, your poor face! Dally reaches over and kisses Eero on, on her cheek. And your last bite claimed its victory. I'm alright, I'm alright. Eero squeezes Kelly's sh shoulder, and they seem to have a light-hearted... Oh, boy. All right. Well, I think the winner deserves a prize. What do you think, Hero? I think memories of my utter failure are a pretty decent prize. Okay, now I feel bad for Hero. No, no, no! That's no fun! Come on, let's flash him. That's a pretty great prize. I'm good. Callie, you're always looking for an excuse to show people your boobs. They're nice. Oh, come on, Eero. You've got nice boobies, too. Actually, that's what I'll be looking at. I doubt that'll make for a decent prize. Well, let the winner choose. But me? Me? Fantastic suggestion. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Mm, your turn, Eero. Cut! Seriously, why does everything come back to kissing with you guys? Because kissing is fun. Ugh, losing sucks. Being a poor sport is worse, though. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Oh uh, boy, it's coming out. Ah, uh, fuck. You better watch out. Next time I win, I'm gonna make you kiss me somewhere else entirely. Hero, don't threaten me with a good time. Asking for cunnilingus in public like that, you slutty slut. I meant my butt. Oh, I didn't know you were into butt stuff these days. Er, no, that's not what I meant. The truth comes out. Callie, come here. I'm gonna teach you some manners. Uh, no, don't tickle me. Stop. Ah, oh, yes, it's a friendly game of tag. I know which song to put here. <laughs> when the three of you get back to the beach blanket, Kelly starts handing out drinks. I brought Rattlers! Oh my gosh, Kelly. Are you going to try and get me day drunk again? You know that doesn't work. I just get sleepy. I'm like an old lady now. Where's the gray hair then? Wait, hold on, the better question is... Did I just... <laughs> Oh look, Halo is live. Cyber Showdown 2 Community Play Day. <laughs> oh, no. Nonsense! How are you supposed to get into trouble if you don't have a drink now and then? Literally my point. Just drink it. Unless you can say no to the grapefruits. Can you, Hero? Can you say no to the grapefruits? Peer pressure. Everyone's mortal enemy. No. I mean, yes, I mean, I mean, whatever gets me a drink. Yay! Peer pressure! You crack open a drink yourself, myself. And the three of you are soon laughing and talking about local gossip. Oh boy, politics. Oh gosh, did you see that Lotus and Nim were out on a date the other day? Woo! That girl had better watch out. That boy's got some admirers. She's gonna get herself shanked. I know! He's so cute! Mm, like a little bunny I want to take home. Oh, then get him to tie me up and have his way with me. Hey, right, that's a bit too much. Callie, you're so fucking weird. Okay, I didn't even see that coming. What? Bunnies are sexy. 
Changed my mind. After almost an hour of just hanging out, suddenly hear a familiar voice calling to you from the parking lot. Hey, Beach Plum, look over here! Hey, Luigi! Hey, Luigi! That's not Luigi! That's Toad! You look over to see Cassie and. Oh god. Hey, what's going on here? These are side girls or something? Cassie, retract the claws. These are my friends. Hey, I'm Eero. I'm Callie. We're just the volleyball team. Don't mind us. Good decoy. Cassie gives the two women a long look, but finally smiles and smiles sweetly and gives a friendly wave. Sorry, that probably sounded a bit more aggressive than I intended. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Alice walks up to the group and gives you all a wave. Hey, sexy beast. Hey, Callie. Jesus Christ, I need to look away. Alice! How are you? I haven't seen you since yesterday. Speaking of yesterday, I'm already out of stock. Help. <laughs> Damn, girl. It's not a competition. You're already my best customer. You don't have anything to prove. Come with me for a sec. We'll talk business. <laughs> Yay! BRB. And all that's left is us. As Alzi and Callie step aside for a moment, Cassie leans into into chat with you more quietly. Hero looks around awkwardly and stays particularly quiet. Listen, I don't know if you're free soon, but I just want to tell you that I bought a new outfit I'd love to show off to you. Shut up. I mean, show off, take off. Whatever. You make the calls here. Busy at the moment, but I'll be in touch. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be rude to your little friends here. Alright, Alice, we gotta roll. Quit flirting with your clients. See you later, Callie. We'll chill together soon. Yay! My favorite! See you soon, sweet cheeks. Bye, Cassie. Yeah, she makes it here and, and uh, then she and Alice D walk back up to the beach, to the parking lot, and disappear from view. Be gone. You know, has completely turned, turned away at this point, and Callie gives you the word of Jesus. Alright guys, we should pack it up. I've had way too many Rattlers, and I gotta be. This is definitely a thing now. Oh, Jesus. Me too! I've got plans with Eli to hit the club tonight. I need to find something super sexy to wear so we can misbehave and flirt with cute boys. Be right back. I gotta grab my board. All right. So he rushes off, Callie turns to you with a confused glare. Oh, shit. Hey, so what was that all about? Nothing serious. Okay. It was kind of weird, though. Yeah. Alice is my hookup. She and I smoke weed together sometimes. So I'm sort of in the know about what she and her friends are into. Yeah. Just, just don't secretly be bad, okay? I've got my eye on you. Don't worry. I don't smoke weed. I, I don't smoke at all. Trust me. I don't smoke. All right, let's motor. I've got the Rattlers. Someone had better come back with me to my place and drink them. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to do it by myself. <laughs> I'll leave you two to it. Gotta hit the road myself. We're on the open road. See you later. Bye, Callie. Punch Eli in the arm for me. I will. Callie gives you a thumbs up and then jogs up the beach. You cool to hang out at my place for a bit? It's just up the beach ways. 
a tool have to be? Race horses couldn't even understand my pain. <laughs> That was a stupid joke. You're stupid. <laughs> I like you. Well, thank God she knows I'm stupid. <sighs> Judging by this, I am stupid. Everyone else likes Luigi, so... I mean, it gets me giddy, come on. <laughs> hey, not like... Okay. The two of you walk up the beach a short ways, turning the corner of a large sand dune. There, you find Eero's beach house. You like it? This is my crash pad. It's technically my family's, but most of my bros live out of town now. And my dad hates the beach. <laughs> oh, hey. Wow. I give up that vibe, eh? That's just part of my endearing personality. I promise. Okay. <laughs> Come on. The urge to pee is becoming overwhelming. Me on car trips. Now this is paradise. I mean, beach houses don't look the worst. But I mean, like, think of how many, how much money you would have to lose when it gets damaged during storms. Like, mm, no, I would rather not. <laughs> I would rather not pay a couple thousand dollars for that. For its damage, <coughs> unless unless if I have uh, insurance, so yeah. Wait, what? I I didn't even see what it read. No, what the fuck? Log. Okay. There are all kinds of workout and sports equipment around the house, and there aren't any walls between rooms. Just dividers. Safe, safe for the washroom. Oh wait. No. You walk inside. Oh wait, no, this is one. You walk inside the beach house, noticing right away that it's super clean. The sunlight pours through an enormous bay window, and the house has a wonderful fresh smell. Yeah, no, you read that. Okay. There's no TV, but you see a laptop on on the coffee table. Okay. Thank God she doesn't have to pay for streaming services. And oh yeah, on the topic of uh. Streaming services. Fuck you, Warner Brothers. <laughs> Here we are. Home sweet home. This is nice. And speaking of home sweet home, I call dibs on the body. Out of my way, sucker. <laughs> Eero hops over to the only closed door in the house, whistling to herself as she closes and loudly locks it. Alright. What do you do? Search your laptop. Search your house. <laughs> what would I do if I searched your house? Just probably smash it. No. <laughs> Crack. No. Underage drinking! <laughs> you listen. Huh? You listen to Eero perform several old songs while she's in the bathroom, strategically replacing words with puns related to bathrooms. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion peace tonight. <laughs> Drink? Uh. I'll listen to this instead. <laughs> I'm gonna go it so long, so good with the lyrics, should be so out of place too, it'd be fun. Okay, just turn it off. Sing along! As soon as Zero hears you, she begins to apply. Bravo! Bravo! Oh. E. She used to close, and she's in a tank top. Oh, that's cool. Hero comes back, trying to have changed clothes while in the bathroom. She pops down on the couch and opens another Rattler. After a long swig, she sighs contentedly. Contentedly. <sighs> I don't know why words are hard to say. Whatever. Gosh, I love the summer. Everything is so much better in the sun. Looks better, tastes better, feels better. 
Kind of makes me wish I was getting some, you know? <laughs> Better while getting some, I mean. Oh, God, it's been 11 months since the last time I had sex. Good to know. And it wasn't even good sex. You'd have to go back a few more months for that. Holy fuzzy, it's been more than a year. How do I even know if everything is working down there now? No, you would have to get more of her brain by like your mid-30s or something. <laughs> what can I say? He gets me giddy. Don't worry, you never forget how. It's like riding a village bicycle. <laughs> you cheeky son of a gun! You leave a bike alone for a year, and you're gonna at least need to blow up the tires, though. Am I right? I haven't run the bike in a couple years. That made sense, right? I hope it did. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> now we're getting personal. Well, what's the deal with Kale? With you and Kaylee? All right, hold on. Well, what's the deal with you and Kelly? I think she likes you. <laughs> oh yeah, she likes me alright. Girl is always asking if she can taste the rainbow. <laughs> I know that's a sexual connotation, but I always think about Skittles. But nah, I'm just joking. Kelly and I used to date. More of a friends, upgraded to friends with benefits kind of situation. Uh huh. We didn't work, but I'm sort of glad, because we downgraded back to friends. Hmm. I get, I get the feeling she'd upgrade again in a heartbeat. Yeah, full transparency. Whenever we have a few drinks, she gets a bit frisky. I went down on her on her birthday. I'd had a little too much to drink. It was fun. But I think it got her hopes up a little. Oh. Disappointment inbound now. I mean, that will happen. <laughs> I think maybe I've had a bit too much, you think? I'm already in super honest hero mode over here. I think maybe you should switch to something a little stronger. I feel like my defenses are down a bit. So you're having a dry spell, eh? No wonder you're you're so cranky all the time. Hey! Watch your mouth! You're gonna hurt my feelings! Yeah, I like trolling. Wait. We do a little trolling around here. But nah, you're right. When I first met you, I thought you were going to get all super flirty with me. And I just wasn't into that at the time. <laughs> okay, this this guy said they instead of that. Then you gotta look at this hot bod. Well, yeah. If I met you now, I'd be all over that. No, okay. thank No, thank you. Alas! The friend zone and all that. <laughs> Whoops! I need another drink! And so do you. Cheers. Yeah, cheers! So. There's something I wanted to ask you. Oh god, what is it? I'm kind of in disbelief that you defeated me today in volleyball. Were you trying, like, really freaking hard to impress me? I know that sounds mega conceited, but screw it. Seven beers, and now it's a perfectly acceptable question. How else am I going to prove I got the goods? <laughs> Well, nothing says, hey, check me out, like spiking a ball into a girl's face. But here, let me feel. Oh gosh, sex. Oh boy. Woohoo! <laughs> here, hops off the couch for a minute and squeezes the biceps. Nice. Then squeezes your shoulders, your delts. My back. Oh, I, I could really go from. I'm gonna be real and say I could really go for a massage. Yeah, can anyone even agree with me, me on that? Like, who doesn't want a massage? 
Nothing sexual about it. I'm just saying, I would like a massage. Are you ticklish? <laughs> nice work. You'll look great. Because, speaking of inappropriate questions... Do you want to bang Callie? Am I crazy for wondering that? Because I saw the way you kissed her and... Now I'm wondering. Well, it's been a while for me too and my first choice... is not interested. Are you sure about that? Maybe you should ask her again. <sighs> Maybe your first choice is more interested than you think. Maybe. Oh, that blondie that dropped by today. What was that all about? Did she have a spray-on tan? And was she, indeed, two different shades of blonde? Tell me you're not seeing her. <laughs> Someone sounds a little jealous. Oh, okay, it says if you flirted with Cassie, you would get a different dialogue and not get an A+. Plus. Well, shit. Why not? I decided not to be a perfectionist in this run, so whatever. Jealous of that bleached blonde, completely empty-headed bimbo? Well, okay, fine. I was maybe a little jealous. But only because I don't know how girls like that steal all the action. Well, I'm home by myself with Mr. Buzzy. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Buzzy? Okay, I'm thinking I'm thinking down the child friendly route, like Buzz Lightyear, but okay. I I know what she's saying, don't don't fucking get on me. About it. That sounded really weird. I should really start doing grammar classes again. <laughs> Mr. Buzzy is my vibrator, by the way. Just so we're completely embarrassingly clear on what I'm talking about. Okay. Hey, there's some stuff I want to tell you. What? Doors. Am I right? I think you're cool. I'm glad we met. Even though the first time I saw you, my boobs popped out. It made an impression. Yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> I just want you to know, I trust you. And I want to tell you something that only people I trust know. The reason I've been so... grouchy, I guess, is that a really painful anniversary is coming up. Okay. I should be quiet. The end of this month, when I was little, my mom died in a really tragic way. She actually died in front of me. She drowned. And every year, on the anniversary, I'm really jacked up about it still. So, if I get really weird in the next couple of weeks, it's not you. It's just me dealing with some stuff. Okay. I just don't want to drive you away, is all. After I'm through with truth, don't make a girl a promise if you know you can't keep it. That means a lot to me. I worry about it. You wouldn't be the first friend I lost because... I'm so messed up about it still. Alright. Most important question of all time. I think about that quote. Can you defeat me at wrestling? Okay, well... <gasps> 
we're gonna go with that off of that off topic, which is a uh, very sad. Before you can make sense of what she means, Hero springs from the couch and tackles me. Ah! Yeah, she means that. Aha! Sneak attack! Ouch, my back. She pulls you to the floor and tries to lock her arms around my. Oh boy, it's coming. Wait, what? For a moment, you're completely thrown off balance. Her legs are incredibly strong and she manages to almost pin me to the floor. If I pin you, you gotta do whatever I tell you. Oh god. She tries her best to wrap her legs around me and pin me down. Oh god, but I finally got enough leverage to fill you back. Break her grip, break her grip, pick her up. <coughs> you lift her into the air, your arms locking across your breasts. And for a moment, she can only kick her legs uselessly in the air. Try to stay standing, but her kicking shifts. You're weight enough at that. Let the two of you fall, fall to the couch. Your struggles beneath you for a moment, laughing and squealing in delight. As she tries to regain her grip. <laughs> no, no, I got you. Reverse psychology, I say. She struggles for a few moments more. Then she looks at my face, and her smile, and smile fades ever so slightly. But after seeing you for a moment. Leave. <laughs> Her whole body becomes alive beneath you. She she pulls you down on top of her and begins to run her hands over Oh boy. We've made it everyone. She's so bad. All right, that's cool. Oh, touch me, please. Kiss me. She pulls off my shirt and you... Oh, boy. Oh, please. Make love to me. Can I say no? Oh. oh, baby. Jesus Christ. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, this is where I can't. Scene before I have to uh, see more. Once you're in your room, she lays back on her bed. Is that her mom? Oh, she gazes at the stars. That's. Just maybe. Alright. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking. What you thinking? Maybe six feet is what? ain't so far down.
Amen. The ride home feels strange. Feelings never had before. You're not sure you, you know what any of it means. Whew. I'm good. Don't worry about it. Oh. It's going good. <laughs> so... Was this an accident? I hope it wasn't an accident. It was amazing! I'd be lying if I didn't admit that. That's cool. Oh yes, we're us. God damn it, I'm waiting for that Sonic Colors reference. <laughs> I'm crazy excited to see you again. I'll text you next week. Looking forward to figuring all this out with you. Oh! <laughs> oh. Boy, this is cool. Talk to you soon. Woo! Evening, go to the police station. Huh? He's making dinner, and Quill is tripping out over some catnip. You hear a knock on the door that sounds strangely authoritative. You pull your pots and pans off the burner and go to the front door. Quill has already vanished by this time, and you're not likely to see her for the rest of the night. You open the door, and a tall blue moon of grass is a scene there. Oh. She flashes you a badge. Good evening. My name is Detective Fumi Zweihander. I'm with the Sub Rosa Police Department. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Good. Then you'll have no reason to avoid my questions. I know this bullshit. I'm investigating a homicide that occurred in Sub Rosa within the last few weeks. We trace the victim to this address. Hmm. From what I've been able to find, you arrived in town only recently and took up residence here shortly after the victim went missing. Hmm. In police nomenclature, we call that suspicious as hell. Am I under arrest? No, but you'll be coming with me anyway. I'm taking you in for questioning. Okay. Unless you resist, then I'm getting a warrant and making things very difficult for you. Yes? No? What's your answer? I don't talk to cops. Let's get it done. Excellent. There's nothing more arousing than efficiency. Okay. The Sub Rosa Police Department. You get into the cop car and detect in Detective Fumi drives you downtown where she's, she speeds the whole way with lights flashing. It's uncomfortable to say the least. When you arrive, Fumi leads you inside the building through a side entrance. Every cop she passes waves hello and greets you warmly. Hey, Detective. Fool me! Kicking ass out there? Hey, Swayhander. Brought back a little something for the box? Not yet. We'll see how they cooperate. Fear. Okay. Alright, I've said fear, now this is extra fear. From your lazy into an interrogation room, she probably closes and locks the door. The bolts plug on on the security camera. Oh, okay. A little privacy. 
Okay. Right, so that's the only thing he'll want to do prior to you. I feel like I'm in serious trouble in here. If that was a pickup line, you'll have to try considerably harder. Ah, uh, it's one of those people who's playing hard to get. Oh boy. And don't think I haven't noticed those fuck me eyes you've been giving me since I picked you up. I wasn't making any eyes, so whatever. I'm not going to give you favorable treatment just because you're cute. Thanks, I'm not cute. Let's go over a few things. Number one. You arrived in town on flight C-69, air ferry, on July 1st. The house you're currently residing in is a private residence, which you claim to have won in a sweepstakes of some sort. You have no contacts in Sabrosa. No friends or family. It's your claim you're vacationing here. So, tell me. Are you a drug mule for a major criminal cartel operating out of Sabrosa? If your answer is yes, I can fetch you a lawyer and we can be super quick here. I mean... I'll be whatever you want me to be, officer. Hmm. What I want is for you to be compliant. Okay. Which uh, is perhaps a poor choice of words. Anyway, it was worth a try. You'd be surprised how often that works, just asking the criminal if they're guilty. Listen, I'm going to lay things out here as clearly as I can. Okay. You stepped into some major shit, and you had no idea, but you've been tracking it all over the place. Did I have something in my shoe? Like what? The SPD has been keeping a close eye on persons of interest, and you yourself are one of them right now. Why me? I've done nothing wrong! You've been reported interacting with certain other persons of interest. Okay. And we can't find any evidence of this so-called contest that brought you to Sabrosa. That's a cool coincidence. Because I would say that you're pretty much my number one person of interest right now. And it looks up from her file. And she has a bored expression, but something flick flickers in her eyes like interest. If you're flirting with me, I would suggest ceasing. Okay. I would break you in half. And not in the good way, but also the good way. Good way of violence. Moving on. In any case, you couldn't be acting more suspicious if you tried. But your background check didn't turn up anything strange or remarkable. You're not on any of our lists, not even the boring ones. You're squeaky clean. It's like you've got a blank backstory. Well, I've got one that's pretty much... Whatever. But you wouldn't be the first person to come to Sabrosa and get caught up in the absolute underworldly bullshit that goes down here. So, here we are. I'm telling you right here and now, you're on my radar. Oh, Jesus. And if you come across anything that might prove even the slightest interest to me, I highly recommend you report it to me. Alright. You are my lackey. My sub. 
I've got my sexy nine-inch heel boot on your throat. And there's no safety word. Okay. So, do the right thing and be my pawn out there in the field. Okay. And so, if you have nothing of interest to add, we're finished here. What if I want to be more than a pawn? Excuse me? Hmm. Interesting. Are you implying that we could arrange a more constructive rapport between us? That wasn't even my intention. Because, if so, then I could arrange for a few perks for your assistance in this investigation. I need you to be very clear in your reply. Yeah, <laughs> on second thought. I'm, yeah, I'm down for a, for constructive report. Excellent. You are as astute as you are attractive. But, if you're interested in search, I can hand me a card. This is my private number. If you call this, it will come directly to my secure line. Okay. If you're upfront with me and contact me with any suspicious activity, I'll return the favor by keeping your ass out of the crossfire. Okay. We'll be like a team. Team Fumi. It's actually Team Sonic. Or Team Elliot, not... Never mind. Agreed. Fuck it, Team Fumi. Your enthusiasm is misguided, but adorable. Thanks. Alright, if there's nothing else, you're free to go. Make sure to call me if you need me. This may be online, but you're really attractive. Put this in subtitles here. Through stops writing something in her file. She arches an eye over me. But I doesn't seem upset. Obviously. What's your point? I'll be direct, your mind blowing, attract. Blowing Lee! Attractive. Uh... Fuck it. Now, Fumi puts her pen down. Her expression is stony, and when she suddenly rises to her feet, you can't help but be startled. She, eye, she eyes you with a glowing, menacing stare. Her heart quickens in your chest. Your loins consist in anticipation of being slapped. Suddenly, Fumi pushes the files off the ta table. She grabs you by the collar. Oh, God. Top of the table. Holy shit. Mm. Oh, good God. I knew I felt something between us. <laughs> My police badge has been tingling the whole time we've been talking. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What a line. Take me, you charming idiot! Let the cops hear us. And for me to have... Oh, boy, wow. She said... That's cool. Oh, my Jesus. I don't know if this is safe to show, but, um... Play that clip again. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking. What you thinking? Maybe six feet is what? ain't so far down. Amen.